So, Mortal Kombat 2 is coming before Injustice. Let's talk about it. Okay, guys. So, um, I don't know if you guys heard yet, but um, apparently Mortal Kombat is coming. I'm sure you guys have heard. A lot of the other creators have been talking about it today. I don't know. Probably yesterday, too. I don't know. I've really been paying attention too much. Um, I kind of just been doing my own thing but anyways um so we got a few things to talk about today i want to talk about um we're going to talk about the mortal kombat 2 possibly coming is that i don't think it said the stone yet but we're going into the article i haven't read the article yet but i don't even like i've been just kind of like you know reading people's titles i haven't watched any videos because i didn't want to i didn't want you know it to be spoiled for me so we're gonna check that out too and then we're gonna talk about the combat cast <laughs> so okay so first let's just jump into the article okay so, Warner Brother Games to double down on Hogwarts Legacy, Mortal Kombat, and Game of Thrones, and DC in particular, Batman after a string of flops. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, I know a lot of people like Injustice throughout the Mortal Kombat community, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like, I think two kind of ended on a good note for me personally. I'm not really a huge fan of the Injustice series personally, so I get like, you know, the people who are a little. This might like upset some people because of Injustice, but you know. Mortal Kombat is why I got is, is why you know they got hired back at a uh, Warner Brothers. It's like why they they were bought out was they were bought out for Mortal Kombat. They were they weren't bought out because they, of a potential to make injustice. So and it's seeing the profits that Mortal Kombat one made when it first came out, you know, it's more than enough reason for them to just continue on with that. But like I said, I get why people would be upset about that and why people want to see injustice come. And I'm just saying, like, in my particular opinion, I get why in terms of the business aspect of it, they would go with Mortal Kombat over injustice. Even though, like, I, I don't know, I never really looked at the numbers for injustice. I don't imagine they're, they're, they, sh they were that bad. I imagine they were good because I mean, remember people making a lot of injustice videos back in the day. So I don't know. I could be wrong with it. Maybe we'll look into that one day. But anyway, let's continue on with the article. After many of its video games business is substantially underperforming its potential right now, Warner Brothers has said its plans to double down on four key titles, name, name checking Batman in particular. Now, let's let's break that down. Why is that happening? Well, Warner Brothers kind of forced Mortal Kombat to come out earlier than it should have because it wasn't ready yet. Like, if I'm being honest, the first year, after the first year, that's when Mortal Kombat initially should have came out, when he had all that shit together. Mortal, and Warner Brothers got kind of you know they're getting a little too greedy and, and saw that all the other fighting games were coming out at that time so they wanted to to, to for, for that to happen which you know it's kind of a bad decision in my opinion but in it, it is what it is so 2024 has been a brutal year for warner brother games with rocksteady suicide squad kill the justice league failure sparking a 200 million dollar hit to revenue and the smash style brawler multiverse is slapping to the tune of 100 million dollars but isn't that isn't it isn't multiverse is free so i mean i guess they they should have monetized it better i don't know that that's weird um and then like obviously uh suicide squad i don't know if anybody really asked for a game like suicide squad and i think like you know even though they try to step out their own bots to create this kind of game it just it fell flat because you don't you kill the way you kill first of all the main thing for me was the way they killed batman and like i saw when the game first came out people just complaining about how they killed um uh batman and stuff like that so i don't know like i was never really interested in in um suicide squad like if, if i was ever together it would have to be on sale or, or be like one of the free games they put on a, um a game pass eventually so that's like probably the only reason i would have ever dove into it same thing with gotham knights like I, as much as i like you know batman and those type of uh games especially nightwing Nightwing's like one of my favorite characters of batman but it just it just didn't appeal to me bro like i don't know it's just i didn't find it interesting enough for me to want to spend money on it Okay, so the four games that they're talking about here. So what's the plan? During a financial call, Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Dasklav said that on the game on the game side of things, the company plans to double down on just four titles significantly and reduce the number of video games to release in this in the in the process. Which, in my opinion, this is a good this is a good idea because that means you can allocate the right resources to these games, then make sure these games are coming out as good as they possibly can come out. So I don't. 
I don't know why anybody would really be upset about this uh, other than the fact that if you're a particular fan of like Injustice or one of the other games that they, they put out, like I think focusing on four titles, you know, main franchise inside of their studio, it would it's a good idea because then you can focus on making the games better and not just rushing them out after only a few years in development, especially when they're not ready. So these games are Hogwarts Legacy, Mortal Kombat, Game of Thrones, and DC in particular Batman, as that's what I've said. I don't know if they, I don't think they had a, um, they have a Game of, Game of Thrones game that I missed. I don't remember anything about that, unless there is one in development. Oh, oh, well, so, okay, so here are the four, the, here are the picture of the screenshots, right? So the Batman Arkham um, Shadow screenshots. Isn't this like the one where it's like a VR type thing? I feel like that's what this is. Yeah, it's the VR one. Okay. It's definitely interesting. If I had like an Oculus, I probably would end up playing that. Just because it was part of the Arkham series, I think that they said. Anyways, we're through some of the worst, and it hasn't and it hasn't been um, pretty on the gaming business. But we have four games that are really powerful and have a real cons constituency that lo that uh, loves them. And we're going to focus on these four primary, four primarily. He said we're going to go away from trying to launch 10, 12 to twenty games. I think we have a real chance now with a focus to have a gaming business to be steadier. And this is honestly a good like I said, it's more important. It's important that they focus on four titles versus like um all of them. Why does this keep popping up? Anyways, whatever. So like when you can focus on four, it means they're gonna have years of development and like t attention to detail, so they can make the games the way they're supposed to. So like they can come out with a Mortal Kombat game that has lobbies and crossplay and and Wi-Fi uh, uh, checks and all that on launch instead of waiting a year for basic necessities in a multiplayer Mortal Kombat game. Like, I don't know if I remember a versus a Mortal Kombat game that was like this is unprepared for launch. Like, I'm trying to remember, like Mortal Kombat, you know, Mortal Kombat S, I don't remember that happening with or Mortal Kombat 11. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to it all that all that much. But I feel like Mortal Kombat 11 pretty much had everything that I wanted in terms like there's like this, like the online features. I don't remember exactly i might have to go back and check on that but i don't i don't remember them having as much detail like bad like missing features as mortal kombat one and then as that and then making a, a shrine dedicated to the people the top five in the league when people been waiting for the warrior shrine for mad long which that i feel like could have been implemented any at any point like that's not even that more that much of a difficult feature to put into a game but yeah so the obvious highlight from there is batman Controversial, uh, controversial live service looter shooters, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Failure was, was in part due to it not being yet another single player Batman in the Arkham game, which developer Rocksteady is best known for. Warner Brothers games just released a VR exclusive Batman Arkham game. Could Rocksteady now be set to return to the, bat to the Batman after Suicide Squad struggles? I don't know about that. I, I could have sworn back in the day I said they didn't. Did they say they were done with making Arkham games, or, or they in the future they they will be making more again? Can someone let me know in the comments? I kind of I, I kind of forgot, so and I don't want to just like say something and that's not true. But anyways, earlier this year, Bloomberg reported to staff that Rocksteady were currently working on a director's cut of the ph phenomenal, successful Hogwarts uh, Legacy, while leading pitches. Okay, I don't really care about that. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. This is what I want to I want to read. Netherrealm Mortal Kombat 1 released in September last year. Fans are wondering what's up next in September. Netherrealm developer chief at Boom confirmed the studio has been has had it decided it's next game for three years or so, but insisted it was still fully committed to supporting Mortal Kombat 1 for a long time to come. Most fans of the studio works expected expected it to release a third game in the DC fighting game franchise, Injustice. Although. Neither NetherRealm nor pub pub nor owner of the publisher Warner Brothers has yet to confirm that. Okay, so um, obviously at the end of this, you're gonna see people are pissed off about it in the comment section of this post. I'd rather see DC heroes who haven't gotten a game yet, uh, some time to shine. I've wanted a game for the Flash and the Green Arrow for years. We already had one. We've had two games where they've been in, they've been in there. Then um, I wonder about just going to ignore Lord of the Rings, even though multiple of the best game adaptions have been Lord of the Rings. 
This is the basic group owns the rights to LOT. Is this Right, this is we're not definitely not too many releases, but instead of trying to force live service games or the MOBA approach to characters on multiverses. We don't need perpetual Batman games. Just have Rocksteady make Arkham style TMNT games. They have a billion dollar idea just sitting there. Please God, just give us an, a new and somewhat decent Game of Thrones RPG. Blah blah blah. Hear me out, Looney to know. Okay, so you know. It seems more people complain about the other games versus like Injustice, but which is fine. Like I, at the end of the day, like I'm gonna be honest, like I feel like they're more just going for the titles that could bring them in the most money. Obviously, it's not like that hard to figure out. Like they they want to bring in like more bat. Obviously, Batman, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, and Mortal Kombat are the, are gonna be the bigger sellers in in their whole encyclopedia of games. So it makes sense that they would focus on those four. Hopefully they learn from the mistakes that they made this year in terms of Suicide Squad and Mortal Kombat 1 and like whatever um, else other games that have kind of just like, you know, haven't pulled in as much money as they would have. I think the biggest problem with, you know, let me switch screens real quick. The biggest problem that happened wasn't the fact that they were making so many games. The problem was it was live service, live service and trying to tax every bit of money from their from the consumers of the games that they're they were trying to put out mortal kombat one in the beginning was the perfect example of this charging ten dollars fifteen dollars for fatalities like and stuff like that it was it's crazy then you have like a combat um then you have the chaos reigns dlc which is fifty dollars which you know you net netted you six characters multiple skins um and then multiple skins because of the story dlc as well as um you know a story that most of the community didn't like although i thought there were some saving graces about it certain parts i thought were pretty hype you know i'm not gonna get too too de detailed in, into this but like there are parts of the story that i did actually like but like for example uh, tanya speaking the dragon language to um orin i thought that was that was pretty cool but they need to take take step step away from the focus of you know a lot of service games live service games are very hard to manipulate a good net of like uh consumers that are willing to pay for products um, being rendered i'll well, be honest like some of the mortal kombat skins are like in the invasion mode have just been absolute dog water like and i i wish that they would pay more attention to if you want to charge customers money for skins and stuff like that of the like you need to make sure that it's worth the consumers the consumers money if it's not worth the money then you know they're not gonna buy it so it's gonna be a bad look for you but that's gonna be what about it when in terms of covering the warner brothers you need know, to double down on like mortal kombat hogwarts game of thrones and um uh dc's and dc's batman but closing my closing does i'm actually more happy about mortal kombat 2 coming into the fold because of like i feel like mortal kombat 1 didn't do the new era justice with the way they did things and maybe mortal kombat 2 more focused around like a 1v1 type setup with better storytelling um hope, hopefully hopefully you know another realm learned from the storytelling of this game and just like is able to like go back to the roots of like mortal kombat deception deadly alliance era of like storytelling so I kind of hope that's kind of the route they're going to go, but we'll see. The only time will tell. So that's going to do it for that part of the video. This Now, I'm moving on to the second part, which is going to be talking about the combat cast, which is this shouldn't be too long of a, of a part of the video. But anyways, out of the shadows and oh, let me switch the screen back. So here we go out of the shadows and into the spotlight. Ghostface will make will be making their MK1 debut on the combat cast Wednesday, 11, 13 at 10 a.m. So what's that? That's like what? Um, is that like one o'clock or something like that? Uh, Eastern time? I don't know. I, I'll be working. I'm pretty sure I open that day. So I'll probably be my video will be pretty late. Um, yeah, it's nothing too too crazy. Um, it's just them talking about that uh, Ghostface is gonna be the, uh, in the combat cast on the 13th. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. I'm definitely gonna check it out. I'm probably gonna be late to it because I'm not gonna be able to uh, be there. From what I know, I don't think my boss has put up the schedule for Monday. Actually, let me double check real quick. Because if he hasn't, if I if I'm working on 
I'll probably work into two because I think Mondays I work 10 30 to or 8 30 to 2. Uh, shifts. Oh, I work at mid on on Monday. Why am I work? Close on Tuesday. I'm off Wednesday. Oh no, I'm off Wednesday. Okay, so I'll be there. Oh, my next week's schedule sucks. Anyways, but yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video. Um, like I said, I'll be there on Wednesday, so we'll we'll do a we'll do a live stream on YouTube about the combat cast. So that that'll be you know one of the first live streams we have in a while. I haven't I haven't really been streaming too much on YouTube. I've been more, mostly focused on Twitch, but you know, being that it's uh you know Mortal Kombat, I guess we'll do it on the YouTube page. See if uh you know how that goes because like I've been thinking about doing multi streaming. Um. I don't know. I don't know if my PC can handle that yet. I'm gonna have to like, cause I have been haven't updated in a long time, so I need to start focusing on that. Cause I want to start like making, getting better streams and stuff like that. So if I can multi-stream to both platforms, so uh, after Wednesday we'll see. But anyways, guys, uh, hold on, let me switch the screen. Okay, so with all that information being told to you now, what do you guys think about? It? I'm sure you guys, a lot of other content creators have covered it and stuff like that, but you know having mortal kombat come back to be the focus of uh, another realm obviously it's gonna twist the feathers people are gonna be upset about it because you know people were expecting injustice 3 before mortal kombat 1 and now this is coming out here it's kind of like pushing injustice injustice 3 back again so we don't know when another injustice game can come and honestly we may not ever get another injustice game if we're being honest if injustice pulled in the amount of money that warner brothers wants it to pull in then you know it would have been different but the fact that they keep pushing injustice back just makes it hard to believe that injustice you know they think that there's isn't enough of outreach for people to for them to want to make another game now it may be people petition for it and you know people make videos about injustice to get another game maybe that may change their opinion eventually but as it stands right now injustice's future looks like it's it's pretty dark, you know. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty dark for Injustice 3. And like I said, I'm not an enormous Injustice fan. I like the games. For sure. I like the story of Injustice. And um even like the gameplay, honestly, I really do I do remember liking the game a lot, especially the first one with Hawk Girl, and then um the second one with Poison Ivy with some of my characters. So I remember it not being as I'm not being bad. I remember it being a very uh, a, a good game, but I I remember not getting too heavy into it. I know a lot of the other um you know creators probably did like the game more than i did but i've always been more of a mortal kombat fan i'm gonna be honest i'm like i'm tatted up with mortal kombat tattoos like that i've always been mortal kombat fan before injustice so for me like i like the idea of another mortal kombat game coming up so soon but at the end of the day i get it, why people would be upset that injustice isn't coming and obviously you know wednesday we have the combat cast for ghostface but let me know what you guys think about you know injustice not uh, being pushed back more um or if not coming out at all like how do you guys feel about that i'm sure some of you guys gonna be upset about it and you know i, I completely understand it and then um you know let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see me stream the um the actual like uh the actual combat cast on youtube or twitch it depends on what people want to see i'll probably put up a post at some point um and we'll, we'll check it out but anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video i'll catch you guys in this one i'm out peace